important to you guys, but. All right, I'm glad Brad was able to go uh, before me because we got caught up in the locker room. Sam Perkins is here and uh, one of my favorite individuals of all time and I had a chance to say something to the guys. And I wanted to let him do that, so I was glad that Brad got to go and they've got farther to travel than we do to go home tonight anyway. But uh, uh, Theo Pinson, uh, Isaiah Hicks were huge for us coming off the bench. Uh, didn't get much out of Bryce tonight and he's been off the charts. Uh, I think he started reading his, his pub and thinking he was all world and forgot the work part of it. Uh, but uh, we got by with uh, Bryce having one of the worst games that I've ever seen him, but he has been sensational recently. He really has. But uh, everybody's trying to come up with reasons. It's a reason he's been really good it's because he's worked hard. He's played hard. He's worked harder during the course of the game. His defensive grades have been better. He's gotten better low post position. It was not because Kennedy was not in there because the guy who replaced Kennedy is Joel. He's a big dude too, in case you haven't looked. But uh, uh, Bryce has just worked so much harder and he gotten better and gotten better low position. Uh, Tonight, uh, they fought him and got him off the block a little farther, and he missed some open eight and ten footers right in front of the goal. And on the lob uh, uh, that he missed, it's because it wasn't going hard. He didn't think they were going to throw it, and then all of a sudden they threw it, and he didn't have the bounce to jump up there and get it the way he usually does. So it was a tough night for Bryce. But uh, uh, I think, again, look at Theo and Isaiah, what they did for us off the bench. You know, we shoot 50% against a very good defensive team. Uh, we turn it over 12 times against a very good defensive team. And, uh, uh, but we were fortunate. Uh, we made some shots. And uh, again, I look at those guys five for five and five for six. That was huge for us, to say the least. Uh, five guys in double figures again. And, and two, of them, two of the guys that started did not get in double figures. Uh, it's a weird game in some way. We made uh, 19 fouls, and they made 18. But yet, out of there. Uh, we, there are 18 fouls. We got 14 free throws, and out of our 19 fouls, they got 26. So we're making silly touch fouls while they're shooting the basketball. So we've got to be more intelligent that way. But uh, uh, you know, they made two threes in a row because we made uh, silly defensive errors. Uh, tried to stop the break high one time, and then just didn't deny the pass to the corner. And uh, all of a sudden, it went from 10 to what was it, five or six? Got to six. And so. Uh, but I thought our guys came back and, and, and made a couple of big baskets for us after that. What's been instrumental in Isaiah gaining consistency in the last six or seven games? Uh, he's really been pretty consistent the entire year. You look at his field goal percentage, he's shooting close to 70%. I don't think he had a bad game the other night. It was five for eight. Uh, so he's been consistent since the first, uh, first game of the year, shooting the ball well. Defensive grades have been good. Last year, he really took giant strides defensively, and I think he's continued that. Uh, needs to rebound the basketball more. I kept telling him, I said, how many rebounds do you have? He had six rebounds tonight, but, uh, uh, but he has. He's, he's been, in fact, one of our most consistent players since uh, day one, since the first day we started practice. Andrew, he, he's playing more minutes because I don't have Kennedy. Okay. Okay. I don't agree with you, okay? He's been consistent all year long. I didn't say he wasn't okay. consistent. All right, anybody else? Is there any reason behind, beside the ball just going in the hole with that smaller lineup that you guys were so effective offensively? I didn't like what we were doing defensively. Joel was not involved defensively. Bryce and Isaiah's word about foul trouble was we'll start Bryce and Isaiah together in the second half, but they already had two fouls. I said I'll put Joel in because one of them is going to get a foul, so it could be not Isaiah or Bryce. So then I think it was Isaiah or Bryce one got it immediately in the second half. So that didn't work. But uh, Joel uh, has really been good defensively for us, but I didn't think he was as good defensively tonight as we needed him to be. And they're bigger guys. If he's guarding the one post, he's always setting that screen out there 25 or 30 feet from the basket. And they set a double screen, and the second screener is supposed to step out and made a couple of mistakes there. Uh, and then Bryce wasn't having a real good night. so. Kennedy wasn't there. Bryce wasn't having the best night in the world. Joel wasn't having the best night in the world. So uh, we decided to go small. And I think at one point they went small too with uh, uh, <coughs> I think Blossom game was the four man a couple of times for him. So for us, we we're a little more consistent uh, defensively on the perimeter. And it's not that they didn't get some post ups and everything, but it was more of a perimeter game, either shooting or driving to the basket. For So being smaller for us is better. You've had some really great offensive 
engineers? Is this one shaping up to be one of your best? You think at this point, you guys are first in efficiency. Yeah, well, you know, a hundred years ago, we never had those stats, so <laughs> we may have been a hundredth and then still thought we were best. Um, I think we have some good parts. We haven't shot the ball well. We really haven't. I mean, uh, I still think Justin Jackson. I said this all year last year and the last ten games. I think his stats were much better. If I'm not mistaken, his his stats against the ACC were better than the non-conference. And that's hard to do because the competition is so much better. So we've got the parts. We haven't shot the ball as well. We're still trying to get Bryce, Isaiah, Joel. Kennedy was in there to post up lower. You know, Bryce turned around and shot his jump hook one time tonight, and everybody starts smiling. But instead of shooting it from six or seven feet, it's 10 or 11 feet. Uh, but we have some parts, Andrew. and. Uh, uh, you know, I, Steve and I were talking out in the hall. Marcus had zero turn, uh, zero assist tonight. I've never seen that from him. But uh, it, when we start shooting the ball and still get the offensive rebound, we can be really good offensively. You guys have shared the ball. You you've had guys, you know, multiple guys in double figures, fifty percent mm -hmm. shooting tonight. They got it down to six. I think you scored on six straight possessions. Is there a certain element to the way your offense is executing that you like? Maybe something more than anything else, or beyond just the ball going in the basket? I mean, no, I think it's it, it is that for sure. But I think that we did. Isaiah got one really in close at that time. I think uh, Marcus made a really difficult shot, made it look easy. But if I'm not mistaken, in a couple of those we got on the break too, because we did a good job, a better job defensively. For this team to really get to be where we want it to be, we've got to get better defensively. And that's the that's the challenge for us every single day. Take one more. Was Kennedy able to do anything yesterday? Hadn't shot a layup yet. Still. Hadn't shot a layup. He's done some nice work in the swimming pool. They tell me, but uh, <laughs> hadn't shot a layup yet. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.